Who will the Falcons take in this year's draft at the defensive back position? Now, I don't care if you're a Falcons fan, a Falcons casual, you hate the Falcons or you love the Falcons. You know that they need a defensive back coming out in this year's draft. And in this video, I'm not going to tell you how the Falcons can get in one, but two elite defensive backs to help build this roster. Now, we all know that the best DB or Probably the best DB in this year's draft is Quinion Mitchell. And I think that the Atlanta Falcons are not going to select them. Probably because, number one, the where they're sitting, they either have to take an edge or they have to bump back. They're not going to use that eighth pick on Quinion Mitchell, even though I think he's worth it. I don't think they're going to go that way because they know they need to get value. Now, <clears throat> at that eighth pick, I'm telling you, there is going to be a run on quarterbacks the first five, maybe six picks, and there's going to be a lot of value there at pick number eight. Not only do I think a receiver, a good receiver, is going to fall, but I also think that Edge Dallas Turner will be there at eight. I don't think the Atlanta Falcons want Dallas Turner at eight, which I believe is the reason why they'll trade back. Now, there's a lot of teams in that mid-teens that will need an edge and a receiver. And I'm going to show you how the Atlanta Falcons are going to get two elite cornerbacks in the first few rounds of this draft. Now, move number one, trading back. Like I said, the eighth pick is going to be very valuable because we're going to have a lot of value, not only at offensive tackle, but at receiver as well as edge rusher. There are teams sitting at 16 and 17, like the Jacksonville Jaguars, who need an additional receiver. They lost Calvin Ridley. And I would anticipate them moving up, especially if Malik Neighbors is there at eight, moving up, trading us 17, and giving us an additional pick to go for. Maybe a third or fourth round to move up to 17, us to move back, maybe even a second rounder for us to move back to pick number 17. Now at pick 17, this is where we draft our DB, Terry on Arnold out of Alabama. I think he's a tremendous value at 17. And if we can get him, if we are able to trade back and get him at 17, that will be ideal because he's a press corner. He's rangy. He can play multiple positions. And that's someone we need on the field. Now, here's the second version of what we need to do in the draft. From there, we've selected pick number 17. I think we need to take our second round pick and either that pick we got from Jacksonville or one of our thirds, we have two thirds this year, and trade up into the first round and get Liatu Latu at like 27 or 28. We probably, I think it'd be a good idea if we trade with Buffalo. They have a lot of holes in their roster, and they're a good team with a lot of holes, and I think they will have value in bumping back to the second round but gaining an additional third-round pick. They have a lot of needs. They still have to fill on that team, and getting additional draft picks is probably their MO. So I think if we trade back with Buffalo to that 27th pick, pick Liatu Latu there, First, we get Terry on Arnold, an elite DB. Second, we get Leatu Latu, an elite edge. We're starting to close the gaps. From there, I think we take two thirds, two thirds, bump up into the second round and get one of these two players, Max Melton or Kool-Aid McKinstry. Now, I'm hearing a lot of noise about how Max Mel Melton is, is rising up the draft boards, and I think he'll be a good fit alongside with Terion Arnold. Also, Max Melton is from Atlanta. I'm not saying there's no ties there. I'm not saying they take into account guys from Atlanta, but it's just coincidence. So Max Melton or Kool-Aid McKinstry in the first, early, second round, there you go. You get your DB, your elite DB, Terry Young Arnold. You get your edge rusher that you want. And then you get another elite DB in Max Melton. Now, depending on what you get from Jacksonville, you either have another third available or another second available. From there, you either go another DB or maybe if Michael Penix falls to the second round, you can get Michael Pitt Penix. In a perfect situation, check this out, Atlanta fans. 
Now this is this is a perfect situation, and I think it's possible. Check this out. You can get Terry on Arnold with the 17th pick. You can get Liatu Latu late, like the 28th pick in the first round. You can get either another DB, Kool-Aid McKinstry, or Max Melton in the early second round. And then you can also get Michael Penix in the second round. Yes, you'll lose your second, your both of your third round picks. You might lose a fourth round pick. But if you can gain those players to plug into your roster, all your needs, I'm telling you, this will be an elite team. And then you will look in the fourth or fifth round and get another receiver for, for depth. You check all the boxes there. So, going forward, I think Quinion Mitchell is the best cornerback in this draft. I truly do. I don't think we select him because there's a lot of value in other players. I say we get number one, Terry Arnold. That should be our number one cornerback off the board. From there, we evaluate, do we want Max Melton or Kool-Aid McKinstry? Figure out a way to get them early in the second round. While also getting Liatu Latu, that is your recipe for success. Imagine one of those guys, you move Terry on Arnold to the nickel, Kool-Aid McKinstry on the outside, AJ Terrell on the outside, Liatu Latu coming off the edge, and you can keep Lorenzo Carter on the team just for kicks and giggles. That's the squad. You're starting to build out that defense. Jesse Bates back there. David Onyemata, Grady Jarrett. Oh, and you got Kirk O'Bain throwing the ball to those receivers streaming down the field. I'm not saying Atlanta is on the rise, but let them have a draft like that. They are on the rise. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. If you want to see more videos like this, check this out right here. And like always, peace.